wormhole will not be a tunnel to go from one place to another but rather it will be a trap. There should be something on the other side which is the opposite of a black hole in every sense. Something which is as powerful as black holes but works in the exact opposite way. Something that instead of attracting things towards itself, send things away from itself. So that an exit point can be created. And here, enters in our story, the white holes. Once again, white hole is a concept that has been proved theoretically by Einstein's field equations. Apart from black holes and wormholes, white holes are another solution to these field equations. What are these white holes? Like white is the opposite of black. A white hole is the opposite of a black hole in every sense. Like in a black hole, no light can escape once it is trapped inside. On the other hand, in a white hole, no light can enter. It can only be emitted by it. This means that the white hole will be extremely bright and white in color. Russian theoretical physicist and cosmologist Igor Novikov was the first person to use the term white hole in 1964. According to scientists, a white hole is basically a time reversal of a black hole. Like the event horizon of a black hole is a point of no return. Once it is crossed, nothing can escape from it. Similarly, the event horizon of a white hole is a boundary of no admission. Nothing can go beyond that point. The object inside the white hole can go outside and interact with the outside world but they cannot go back inside. Even though this is a solution to Einstein's relativity theory, no one actually know how white holes will form in reality. So, can a white hole exist or not? This is the topic of discussion among scientists to date. Some scientists believe that when Big Bang happened and the universe was formed. At that moment of creation, everything must have emerged from a gigantic white hole. Another theory is based on the idea by Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking said that a black hole will eventually evaporate when radiation keeps leaking from it. Black hole are not eternal. They evaporate away at an increasing rate until they vanish in a gigantic explosion. But when a black hole evaporate and dies, what will happen to the information and matter inside it? What will happen to the information and matter inside it? Quantum theory has a fundamental law which states that no information can be lost. It is called the no-hiding theorem. According to the no-hiding theorem, even if any information disappears from a system, it would still be existing somewhere or the other in the universe. Theoretically, if all this matter and information is being sucked into a black hole, it will be spitted out after the death of the black hole. And this is likely happening through a white hole. Based on this argument, many scientists say that a white hole forms when a black hole dies. In year 2006, scientists saw a white hole. On 14th of June 2006, a space satellite named Neil Gerald Swift Observatory captured an astronomical event. Scientists saw an explosion of a white light which suddenly disappeared. This event was named GRB 060614, it was a gamma ray burst. Gamma ray bursts are basically are highly energetic explosions. Observed in distant galaxies. Usually, these events occur when a black hole swallows a big star. You can see very bright explosions of light. But in this case, no evidence of a star was found. So it was hypothesized that this was an observation of a white hole. Since then, we have not seen such an event again. And that's why till now, white holes is only a theoretical concept. But the thing to note here is that black holes were also theoretical at one time. But then, one day, they were practically proven. So it's possible that in the future the same will happen with white holes. The same thing can be said about wormholes, friends. It's possible that they can be proven in the future. The most interesting news about wormholes existence in from 2015. When scientists created a magnetic wormhole in a laboratory. So, till now, we were talking about wormholes in the sense of gravitational force. But if we talk about magnetic force. Scientists have already been successful in creating wormholes. Finally, friends, I would like to say, that even if the existence of wormholes is not proven in the future, it does not mean, that we cannot find other ways to travel faster than light. Theoretically, several other solutions are proposed. 
One is Alcabier Drive. It was proposed in 1994 by theoretical physicist Miguel Alcabier. The idea here is that there will be a spacecraft which will be able to travel at a speed faster than light. But how will it be able to do that? By contracting the space-time curvature in front and expanding the space-time curvature in the back. Theoretically, another solution to Einstein's field equation is presented by Alcabier Drive. It will be very interesting to see the other solutions proposed for these field equations. And what practical things can be derived from them. Now we completely understand this concept. Thank you for your patience, space enthusiasts.